if you have an iMac 2012 up until 2020 or a Mac mini 2012 and 14, you most probably have a Fusion Drive in there. What's that? The Fusion Drive is just a combination of a small expensive SSD that's quite fast and a large slow but cheap regular hard disk. One, two, three terabyte. And so you have like a terabyte storage in your iMac, but macOS just checks which of your files are used often and just transfer those files onto the SSD. So they are loaded quite quickly and it feels like the whole terabyte is an SSD, has very quick loading speeds. But this fusion drive mechanism might be broken and that we're going to check here and I'm going to show you how you can just restore that functionality. Otherwise, your macOS will recognize a small SSD and a large hard disk, but that SSD, for instance, here is only about 32 gigabytes. So you cannot get a real use out of that. And I'm going to show you how you can restore the Fusion Drive functionality. So with that iMac 2017, I went into the recovery and opened up Disk Utility. As you can see here, you can see the Apple HDD, that is a one terabyte hard disk drive. And you can see the Apple SSD, that is a 28 gigabyte PCI Express SSD. That's the fast one. But you can see those are both separate drives and macOS would recognize them as separate drives but we want to restore the Fusion Drive capability. So we just close the disk utility. So now we go to utilities to the terminal. And the command we need is quite simple. We just have to say disk util reset fusion return and now it finds the rotational, so the conventional spinning hard disk, that is disk 0, and the solid state disk, that is disk 1. And disk 1, the solid state faster disk, will be used as the main faster device, and disk 0 will be used as the secondary larger device. But, the warning, all hard drives, both of them, will be erased completely. So if there is any data on the drives that you need, make a backup first and you have to type yes with a capital Y to proceed here otherwise it will just stop and now you can see that it force unmounts all volumes and now making the partitions for the drives and creating the APFS container and everything is fine. Confirm that your new volume Macintosh HD is a Fusion Drive. Operation is successful, you should now install macOS. Okay, so we type exit and we are done with terminal. So we go here to terminal, quit the terminal. And now let's go back to the disk utility. And as you can see, show all devices. There is only one device here. That's the Fusion Drive, 1.03 terabytes. And that has a container, APFS, that's the Apple uh, file system. And there is a volume, also APFS Macintosh HD. And this now is a volume that we can use to install macOS. But what if you'd like to split that Fusion drive because you either want to install another SSD instead of the regular hard disk or you'd like to install one SSD macOS, the other one Windows or whatever reason. I can show you how you can undo that Fusion drive and split those drives into two regular ones. At first you got to make sure that you don't have any data on it because it deletes everything the same as with the reset Fusion drive. But you have to make sure that it's not APFS anymore. So we go into the disk utility and we have to go to view show all devices and there you can see there is the fusion drive but you cannot do anything here you cannot erase that but on the next level here where the container is you see it's an APFS container we click on erase and we choose 
macOS Extended Journal instead of APFS. We say erase, and I can show you the details, what's going on here. Um, it will now undo the APFS formatting and create a macOS Extended Journal formatting. That's the older file version. But with this, we can split it up with the disk utility later. All right, we are done. And when we now just switch to only volumes, you see that's a core storage logical volume macOS extended journal. So we can just close disk utility and we go into utilities terminal again. And now we say disk util core storage list. And now it shows us a list of our core storage here. And what we need is up here where it says logical volume group, there is a number in here. So we mark the whole number and we say command C for copy. And then we can just scroll back down here and we say disk util core storage delete and then command V to paste that number. And when we say return right now, you see it's destroying the logical volume group. That takes a few seconds and we're done. If we now say exit here, we close the terminal and we go back into the disk utility. And even when we say show all devices, you can see there is the HDD one terabyte. There is the SSD 28 gigabytes and both have an untitled macOS extended journal partition. Give me a comment below the video if there are any problems, any questions. Join the Discord server, link is also in the video description and ask your questions there or please share your experience there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my channel and by the way, just a quick outlook. There will be one video what you can also do with very old Mac models and Mac hardware. For instance, you can install Chrome OS on Mac hardware. There's a video how you can just test it without altering your installation on your hard disk. It's just a live USB drive that you can plug in, boot from there and test it if you like. So there's a lot more to come. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate that. See you on Discord. See you here on YouTube. Bye bye.